Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the new Doken Awakenings that are coming with the New World Tournament. So if you guys aren't aware, we have new Doken Awakenings, and it's for this Gohan over here, the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I believe this is actually available from the, okay, this yeah, the, th the first World Tournament. This is the first World Tournament reward. He finally gets a Doken Awakening. Um, we also have the Goku over here, the brand new Super Attack Goku with the Feet Kamehameha. Um, which one was he? He was from the 13th World Tournament and apparently the 16th on the JP. Um, so he's from that World Tournament. Um, and then we have also the uh, Piccolo Jr. Giant form, which gets a Doken Awakening. He was from, uh, where are you? <laughs> uh, World Tournament Prizes Dragon Ball Summon Saga Ticket. So he's actually a summonable unit from the Dragon Ball Saga Summon. So I have him on the global side, so I can't Doken Awaken him yet. But we're going to talk about them, uh, the Doken Awakenings, their new forms, uh, and some team building for each of them. So let's go ahead and jump into it. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. So first off, we're just going to go over the basic stuff for the SSRs before they Doken Awaken, like their leader abilities and their super attacks and their passives. Um, and then we're going to jump into their actual Doken form. So first off, Fury Unleashed Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth, his SSR variant, his leader ability is agility, technique, and physical type, HP, and attack plus 25%. Super attack, Father Son Kamehameha with supreme damage, and his passive skill is agility and tech type key plus two. I'll, honestly, he's really not that bad of a unit. He's a pretty good support unit. Um, I did not get him in the first World Tournament. I remember I was watching, I think that was the one where uh, it was with Living Ichigo, and he was doing the World Tournament. That's when he came in first, um, if I remember correctly. Um, and he just went in, I think he got this Gohan. Um, but anyway, I remember when this first came out, I tried to get that Gohan. I just couldn't place in the World Tournament because I had no um, AoE, and it was just a pain in the butt. Um, I don't think anyone actually had an AoE, I just didn't do that grind. I think you had to beat like a hundred times, I could barely get there. Anyway, he requires seven medals in order to Doken Awakening, uh, to, in order to Doken Awaken him. Uh, these medals are going to be available from the local rewards uh, prizes. So as you see over here, you, get, you also get the TN from that reward. Um, I went over him in the when he came out, and I believe it was the last World Tournament, uh, was when LRTN came available. Um, so we, in order to get it, you need those Master Marks. Those Master Marks are all available from local rewards. This is first place. First place gives you 50 of them. Um, and then you just go through, I think you get, you can get them up until, actually I think well, every place gives them to you. So any place gives them to you, but if you come in like the last 50, you're not, you're only going to get one. So honestly, in order for this to actually benefit you, I think you need to place in the top, yeah, you need to place in the top 100 to at least get one Doken Awakening. Now obviously you're going to want to shoot for the top in the locals, because locals is a lot easier to get usually if you get into a good pool. Usually when I get into locals, I'll top, I usually place in the top three myself. Um, so I have a whole bunch of these Master Mark medals just waiting to be used. Um, anyway, that's what that's where you get them local rewards. So go ahead, take a look at your local ranking in order to find out. He finally Doken Awakens, and he Doken Awakens into Full Power Clash, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, Youth. His leader ability is Agility, Technique, and Physical Type Key plus 2, HP and Attack plus 50%. Meh. And his leader ability is still like, I mean, it's cool because the two stats that you really want are, are buffed, but you're really never going to use them um, unless you really have, unless you're like a brand new player and you happen to summon him and you want to try and get him Doken Awaken for that leader ability. Um, super attack, super Kamehameha, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, which isn't that bad. Uh, passive skill, exalted anger, agility, technique, and physical type key plus two, attack and defense plus 30%. So honestly, he's a really good support unit, um, for teams. Uh, now I'm not going to go and make a full, like, team building guide with him, I'm just gonna talk about his best linking buddies, but he can play a really good role, regardless of his links or not with on, on a hybrid saiyan team because he's part of the hybrid saiyan category and he hits three separate category or three separate uh, attribute types so as long as you don't really bring i mean obviously you, you have that um the strength gohan which is going to fall under that but without other other than him you can actually base a whole team around uh that's passive skill and honestly in my opinion most people from at least for what i'm seeing uh, don't run that ultimate Gohan on primary rotation let me know if you do but um i don't have him so i couldn't even let you know off of just experience link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Kamehameha, Soul vs. Soul, prepare for battle and shattering the limit. So honestly, his link skills are phenomenal, because they just hit almost every single standard Super Saiyan link skill set. Uh, hybrid Saiyan category, max stats are HP of 10,015, attack of 8688, and defense of 3405. Really not a bad unit, he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%, his greatly raises attack gives him his super attack multiplier of 50% buff. 
Um, again, he's a support unit, so don't like really do too much into him. Uh, maybe if you want to give him that free crit um, because of the top left dupe path, you know what I'm saying? Or the, the, the top left dupe location, he gets that free crit. But uh, I really don't think he's going to be doing too much damage. He's more there for support. Uh, and honestly, on a hybrid Saiyan team, which it, it's like one of those things where it's hit or miss. If you have Gohan, like the ultimate Gohan in your primary rotation, since he's strength, he will not be getting that buff. Uh, but overall, he's a really solid unit, really solid support uh, for the teams that you were running that are mono, AGL, technique, and or physical. Um, anyway, in terms of his best linking buddies, now this is a really difficult one just because he has so many linking buddies. Let's see over here if how, how well this works. I, I changed monitors, so yeah, it's not working too well. So we're going to go back over here. Um, so uh, his best linking buddies in game, six or more, like literally, it's just ridiculous. Every single one of these Gokus. And it's because he has all their link skills. Golden Warrior, Battle uh, battle Ethics, Saiyan, or Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering Limit. It's all of them. All of them have that. He He's just so crazy. Um, Golden Warrior, yeah. I mean, like, attack plus 10%, attack plus 2,500, attack plus 700, four key, attack plus 10%, I think I said 10%, and uh, key plus one of the opponent's uh, defense minus 2,000. Honestly, he's really good for that. The only thing that sucks is um, a lot of these guys are not going to be featured on your team because a lot of these guys just aren't that great. I mean, this Goku over here, I think is like, Maybe it's, I think this is all some. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is another support unit. This Goku is a support unit. This Goku is a support unit. He's a support unit. I know Buff is a support unit. This is like the strength one is the only one who's not a support unit, but he's strength, so you're never gonna really have him on the same team because he's not gonna get to the benefit of him. And he's a support unit, so he links great with all of the other support units. I mean, we could drop this down to five if you want to. The thing, reason why I didn't do that is because look, look at that. Now he literally links with only every, almost every Super Saiyan is now available for his best linking buddies. So uh, we're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what it is. He's a freaking great unit. He's great for support, great for links. You just need to make sure you build him on the proper team. In terms of a monotech team, look at that. You can run him on our monotech team. He links with a lot of units. All the Goku's down here for five, six, or more. Um, five and more over here. Uh, Vegeta, he has one Vegeta that links with five with, and then he has four Vegetas and Trunkses that he links with four or more. So honestly, on a mono Super Saiyan team, he's not going to do that bad. I mean, you throw a Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku lead, double Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku lead, this guy's going to be really, really amazing for a support unit. So if you have him, definitely don't awaken him and throw him on that mono team. These are all his linking buddies, so it doesn't. Really, I'm not doing that just to say that you're, you're going to have him on primary rotation. I'm doing it just to show you that... With Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, whatever team you decide to build, if you happen to run any of these guys on that team, whoever's in the middle, if one of these guys is in the middle and this Gohan comes up, they're, they're going to get a super attack off. That's all there is to it. They're, mo they're almost likely going to get a super attack off because they're already going to share for at least four key with this man. And that's going to be crazy. Like, this guy show shares only three key, but whatever. What can you do? Nice attack buffs and everything. All around good unit. In terms of hybrid Saiyan team, this is a hybrid Saiyan team. Everyone on a hybrid Saiyan team that you could possibly run that links with four or more with him. Uh, as you notice here, the ultimate Gohan is not there. Um, this Goten is not going to do anything to get any buffs, and this Trunks isn't getting any buffs. So I just want to put him in there. So we're going to take them off the field. Actually, we can't take them off the field. Um, we're going to put them down here so no one can really see them. And then we're going to just stay like this. I mean, you have Gohan, 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 Trunks. Uh, actually, I can't really do that because it's every single hybrid Saiyan that's here, which is all of those guys. Um, okay, so the only thing is, Pan is not here. But any of the Super Saiyan hybrid Saiyan guys, he's linking very well with. And I, th I believe, let's go back over here real quick. Agility, Technique, and Physical, so no Intelligence types. So we would need to remove Intelligence, Intelligence, Intelligence. And look at that. All of these guys over here are the best ones that he could possibly link with. And he'd do really well on the teams. Um, don't get me wrong, some of these guys are support units themselves. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? We can go over here now, just because I want to show you how many he does link with on a hybrid Saiyan team. If we bump this up to five, um, it definitely helps out a lot. Um, this Gohan over here will probably be a staple because he's such a phenomenal unit. Um, this Gohan is what? Attack plus 90% of the start of the turn. Um, this one, I believe, is 90%. This one's a support unit. This Goten's up uh, good. I think he is 90% as well. Uh, yeah, he's 90%. So your hybrid Saiyan team is going to be a little bit on point. Especially with that attack, defense, and key buffs. Everyone's going to be super attacking. Everyone's going to be going crazy. And that 90% is going to get an additional 30%. So it's going to be 120% attack buffs. Or 100, yeah, 120% for most of these guys who are launching their supers. Uh, I don't like this Gohan personally, the future Gohan. Um, he does attack and defense plus 70% up at less than 80% HP. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, but he does get a nice buff, so once he get, once that HP drops. But um, that, that's the best team building for him in terms of who he links the best with. Again, support unit, so he's not going to be on primary rotation. There's no real reason to do a primary team with him. Um, plus, uh, you're probably not going to really run him unless he is support. 
Um, anyway, the next one is going to be the brand new Super Attack Goku. Uh, now this is the base form Goku from one of the world tournaments from the original Dragon Ball series. Uh, leader abilities, physical attack uh, and defense plus 50% when HP is 30% or above. Supreme damage, rare chance to stun the enemy. And passive skill, a surprising idea. Attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. He requires um, 7 medals in order to Doku awaken him again. He's from the 16th JP World Tournament and the 13th Global World Tournament. Um, so, when he Doku awakens, he Doku awakens into Martial Artist uh, fight, fight Goku. There we go. Leader ability is physical type key plus 2, attack and defense plus 60%. Uh, honestly, he's really, I mean, I mean, minus the HP buff, it's not that bad of a leader ability. Uh, you would obviously want to have that HP buff, but if you're going up against, like, an older event, um, he will be pretty useful for you because of that buff. Uh, super attack feet Kamehameha causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun. Holding out, attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. That makes him a little bit more viable. Granted, he does not have, um, uh, the fierce battle. He has shattering the limit because he Doken Awakens from the world tournament. So that kind of stinks because he's not getting that extra 10% attack buff. But the, the fact that he gets a defensive buff, which is really awesome. Not a lot of Goku cards get a defensive buff. Um, he's going to be tanking a lot better. And he's physical units. Physical units usually tank a little bit better anyway. Uh, link skills are all in the family. Infighter, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, World Tournament Champion, Turtle School, and Shadow and Limit. He's part of the Low Class Warrior and World Tournament categories. So... Um, really, you're never going to run them. I do have some best linking buddies for each of them, but you're probably never going to run those categories unless it's for a specific event. So if you are running it for a specific event, he's going to be awesome because he's a TUR, so you get a max level 120, which is a nice buff for additional drops. And the reason I say that is because we're currently grinding out the Raditz event. So he'll really be really good for the Raditz event because you'll get those additional drops with him on the team because he's 120, which increases the drop rate. Max stats are HP of 9644, attack of 7725, and defense of 4794. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go put dupe system into him, but if you happen to do it, go ahead and pause the video and you can take a look at this. Um, it's not really that amazing. He's only getting about a 3000 attack buff per stat, about average. Um, so, I wouldn't really recommend doing it. Maybe if you want to give him a fr the free double attack because it's only giving him the medium and smalls. Um, but that's about it. 12 key multiplies 140%, and he could have a super attack increase with any of these Gokus over here, which is phenomenal because they're all free-to-play drops. Now, I think I saw, I forgot his name, um, I saw some YouTuber go in and he was increasing the super attack of all of the, um, of the Gokus with the rare. I know it's supposed to be a challenge, I saw like two, two YouTubers actually do it, and they referenced other YouTubers doing it, I just, I, I really, sorry, I forgot all of everyone's names, uh, because it was like a couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago. Um, this Goku, you could just Z-Awaken him, or you don't even need to Z-Awaken him, just farm him. He drops like five, uh, up to five per stage when you go up on the epic battle event. And it's only a 1% chance, but you can increase his super attack, so before you Doken Awaken him, go ahead and increase his super attack to 10 if you want to. Um, outside of that, he's a solid unit, um, definitely. I mean, I don't know if you really want to do that, Get, you're going to need like a thousand of them. But um, you can go ahead and, and try to increase his super attack that way if you want to. Um, anyway, for the best linking buddies overall in-game, four or more, he only links well with his Kaioken variants which these two can't link together because they are both Kaioken Gokus, and Master Roshi for five or more. So um, he gets what? He gets the, uh, the World Tournament. Um, I don't know what the heck Zuzalu is. <laughs> Let me see over here. Infighter? Is that in? No, it's not Infighter. Is that Infighter? Um, now it's Attack and Defense plus 500 up. So what is Attack and Defense plus 500 up? Uh, World Tournament Champion? Nope. All in the Family? Nope. Turtle School. Turtle School. Okay, cool. So he has Turtle School, obviously. That would, why, would I, why would that not be a thing? In Fighter, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. So, uh, yeah, he has a lot of good link skills with Master Roshi. I mean, I don't think you're ever going to run them on the same team. But it's 2 key, 3 key, 2500, 500 attack, and then 10% uh, attack, and then the defensive buffs even go up as well. Um, so that's pretty awesome. With the Kaioken Gokus, it's just uh, the Sun Family, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Breaking and Shattering the Limit. Um, same thing, so 4 key, 2500 attack and defense up. So it's not that bad, they're pretty decent links. I mean, you're probably going to run these two on the same team. The physical Kaioken Goku, if you happen to have him over the agility one, because they're probably going to run a mono-physical team together. Uh, in terms of mono-physical team linking buddies, as I showed you already, the, the Kaioken Goku over here. The OG Ultimate Gohan, which you're probably never going to run. The support unit Gohan, which you will probably have them on the same team. And... The other World Tournament. Now, this is the World Tournament. Oh, this is the physical, actually. So, this Gohan over here is going to be on the World Tournament team, which is you're going to use on the Hercule event. So, you can keep these guys together if you want to. They're both TUR, so you might as well. Um, Shattering the Limit, um, Shocking Speed, and Kamehameha. So, they give each other 4 key and 2500 attack buff. And this guy's a support unit over here, so you're definitely going to run these two on the same team. Honestly, on my Majin Buu arc team... Um, I, I always have this Gohan, and I gave him some dupe system path, just so that way he can do a lot of crits. I think I have him, like, 
uh, whatever the max crit that you can get and the double attack, so that way he's doing a lot of freaking damage, because this guy does attack plus 90% up at the start of the turn, so uh, he does really well. So these two linking together for a world tournament team is going to be very beneficial to you. Um, this is the, uh, which one is this? I forgot which, well, let me go up here, because this is the world tournament team. Um, so this is the world tournament team, obviously this Gohan uh, that I spoke about. We have the LR Goten and Trunks, we have Mighty Mask, Master Roshi, Goku, LR, Tien, and Chiaotzu. T-U-R, Hercule, um, and the Yamcha. So that's just his best linking buddies. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter what the linking buddies are on the team because you're really only going to be going up against uh, Mr. Satan or Hercule uh, in the actual game with this team. So that way you get those uh, drops. Uh, obviously, you want to run the highest rarity characters that you can have. And since he's now T-U-R, he's going to meet that list. I highly recommend it. You obviously want to do best linking buddies so you can get super attacks off. Because, I mean, and I'm honestly, personally, I run LR Hercule for my friends. Or anyone who actually sees me in the game. That way, they have the ability to use an LR, which gives them the increase. And the thing with LR Hercule, while he's a cool unit and everything, especially for that event, for those additional drops, um, he has no key. So you definitely need to get some uh, key links in there in order for you to super attack. Though it's not like it's hard, you could usually kill him without super attacks um, at the end of the day. But um, yeah, what was the other category? I completely forgot what that one was. Uh, low class warrior. So that's when that that's what this one is. Low class warrior, two or more. I mean, he doesn't link with anyone except for his two previous forms, uh, his kid Goku form and his other kid Goku form. I think this is the grade eight variant. Um, Shattering the limit and Kamehameha, and this one is Shattering the limit, Kamehameha, and Turtle School. Um, or no, Sun Family, Sun Fa Sun Family, Kamehameha, and Shattering the limit. Um, I mean, I guess we can drop this down to one, but it doesn't really make sense. Uh, there you go, I guess, right? Because he has all those linking buddies for one. Um, Shattering the Limit, I think, is all of them. So he just shares two key with everyone else on the team. So, I mean, I guess it's a key link, so it's better than nothing. Uh, but that's it. I mean, low class were he's there. You're going to use that for the Raditz event. So just throw him on that team. Plus, he's a physical unit, so you'll kill the Raditz is a little bit better. Um, anyway, we're going over to the Piccolo Jr. now. Um... Threat to Peace, Piccolo Jr. Giant Form. Uh, leader ability was Strength Type, Attack plus 50%. Extreme Damage to the Enemy and Lowers Defense. And all enemies attack minus 12%. Rare Chance to turn into Great Namek. Um, so that was it. Then he turns into Great Namek. He does Destructive Damage to the Enemy, which I don't know the, 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 the little multiplier for that. Giant Namek mode, where he takes no damage whatsoever. And his base stats are Attack plus 28,000. Um, so that's about it. He Doken Awakens with 7 medals as well. He Doken Awakens into... Vengeance of the Great Demon, Piccolo Jr. Giant form, because he thought he was a demon, and they had to change it for Dragon Ball, um, or Dragon Ball Z, sorry. Leader abilities now, Strength of Key plus 2, Attack and HP, and Attack plus 60%, which is actually the two good um, stats that you want. So if you happen to pull him for whatever reason, and you have a really garbage count or no Strength Leaders, he will do decent for you, um, I would say, up until maybe, like, you might be able to do some decent damage with the 70% Leaders with him. Uh, that could be beneficial for you uh, in terms of the events. I don't think you can go and take on any of the 120 events with this guy as a leader, but any of the Dokkan events up to the 70% leaders, except for maybe like the Vegito since he's agility, uh, should be good. And then any of the older events or event stages, you should be fine with him as a leader if you don't have any other leaders. Super Attack is Super Explosive Wave. It causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense. Demon's World. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%, so he's phenomenal just to have him on the field. That's really nice to have that debuff there. He, you know what, honestly, now that's, now that's seeing his Doken Awakening, he might play very well on a Janemba team. You know why? Because Janemba tanks everything, and you already have Omega Shenron, which reduces damage. And personally, I'm not a big fan of the Cell. Sorry about that, guys. I know some of you love Cell. I am not a big fan of the Cell. Uh, I don't think he does a lot of damage. So having a defense re or attack reduction on the team with Janemba. So you have two attack reductions. You have the Omega, which I believe is attack minus 35%. And this guy, which is attack minus 20%. And you have some support units on there. It's going to be amazing. Plus, he has a chance to stun the enemy. Um, and he has a chance to turn into a great Namek, which is also damage reduction. That strength team, that extreme strength team with him on it. I think he'd be really well, do really well on that team. I don't think he has good link skills, though, for it. Um, his link skills are Big Bad Bosses, Demon, um, Strength in Unity, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Transform, and Shattering the Limit. Now, as you see here from the link skills, I mean, no one on that team has Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Incredible Adventure, Strength in Unity, or Demon. So, I mean, like, maybe Big Bad Bosses and Shattering the Limit. No, not even Shattering the Limit. So, like, he only has, like, Big Bad Bosses. No one even has Transform on that team. Uh, but anyway, uh, category is World Tournament and Giant. His max stats are HP of 10,583, attack of 8,058, and defense of 3,796, with a 12-key multiplier of 
Um, we don't have, I guess the wiki doesn't have his attack stats when he uh, gets tokened, after he gets tokened, so uh, we'll have to stand by for that. I'm sure it's above 2800, it's probably like 3500 or something like that. I believe that's what the great apes are. Um, but outside of that, I mean, it's cool. I like it. He will be useful in certain situations. If you're trying to build a damage reduction team, he's definitely useful. And the fact that he reduces uh, the opponent's defense is also phenomenal. In terms of best linking buddies in-game, it's going to be the Demon King Piccolo, Kami, um, old Demon King Piccolo, uh, and then the two Gokus for four key links. So the Demon King Piccolo is, yeah, he is an incredible adventure, got into the Dragon Balls, shattering the limit, one-sided entity or unity, whatever the heck that is, and demon, uh, demon or demonic style. I'm sure that this one is the same thing, so yeah, demonic style, yeah, the same exact one. That's not bad, that's two, four, six key and tech plus 20% up. Yeah, 2, 4, 6 key, attack plus 20% up. This Goku is going to be 2, 4, 6 key, and 20% up. Actually, that's really awesome, too. Oh, they share transform, that's why. Kami is going to be probably 5 key. Yeah, 2, 4, 5 key, and attack plus 20% up. And this one's probably going to be just 2, 4, 6 key, and 20% up. Nice. So, in terms of his best linking buddies, he he's not short. Um, I don't think you're ever going to run these guys on a team with him. Uh, let's see, so this one's attack plus 80% up, and sometimes turn into grade 8. This Goku is... Attack plus 70% up, so that's not that bad. Kami is a support unit, so you could probably have him on the team, depending on who your leader is, obviously. You're probably never going to run supers with the extreme. But if you happen to, like, maybe that Goku. Um, this go this um, extreme type support unit over here, really good. Key plus 3, attack plus 25% up. And the enemy's entire attack down by 25% is his passive, is the old Demon King Piccolo. So these two are really good damage reduction on a villain's team. Um, he's a good support unit, and I think you could run all these guys on the same team. Yeah, you can. Look at that. You could run all these guys on the same team, and 5, 5, and 6. So this one will be your support unit, and these two will be linked together. That That's phenomenal. You're you're going to do a lot of damage and always get super attacks off because uh, whoever your leader ability or whoever your leader is, you're probably going to have a, like a, a 6 key start. And if you have 6 key start with a support unit of 3 key, that's 9 key, and they're already linked for 6 key. So you're you're always getting a super attack off. Even if you don't have a great leader ability, your chances are you're going to get a super attack off. Um, especially because, especially whoever you place in the middle. On top of that, damage reduction between the two of these. This guy is what? What is he again? 20%? And this one is, what, 25%, I believe this was? Um, so that's, what, 45% damage reduction right there? That's that's crazy. So um, really, really good setup there. Uh, in terms of a mono strength team, you have the Bojack for two key, key links. I mean, I had to do two or more for this, so that just shows you. He has big bad bosses shattering the limit. That's it. Um, the Goku from the Arale event, Mysterious Adventure Drug Guide into the Dragon Balls, Great Shattering the Limit. Um, great Ape. So you do have Raditz, I guess you could link with, and Fasha, but Fasha is super Raditz is extreme. So you would only have to prefer, let's say you run them on a Janemba team. This would be the only one. You have Huge and Great Shattering the Limit, so there's not even an attack buff. Um, I wish he had like maybe like Transform or something like that. That would be phenomenal, but <clears throat> there's no attack buffs there. And then you have Fasha, which is 4 key as well. So honestly, for a mono physical or mono strength team, he's really not that great. Um, I mean, unless you're just trying to use him, utilize him for damage reduction. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's what he's there for. Um, this one is going to be the World Tournament team that he's available for three or more key. Um, you have Tien and Chiaotu, you have the Master Roshi, and you have the Goku, which we already went over the Goku. So the Master Roshi is Mysterious Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Shattering the Limit. And I'm pretty sure that this that's what um, the Tien and Chiaotu are. If I could just hover over it, yeah, same thing. So that's not bad. If you want to go over here, look for like one or more, I guess. Um, you can see him link with a couple more guys like Goku, LR Tien and Chiao to LR Hercule because they all share like pretty much um, one link skill, obviously, Shattering the Limit. Um, so Shattering Limit is going to be pretty much all of them, and there's really nothing else that they could do. I mean, it's two key, so if you're when you're building that World Tournament team, at least you have key that's generating. In terms of Giant, for his best linking buddies, three or more, you have the Vegeta. Uh, for three key, big bad bosses, sh Shattering the Limit, and Huge. Uh, we already talked about the Goku for Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Mysterious Adventure, Shattering the Limit, and Huge. And the same thing with this one. If you want to drop this down to two, we can go over here and we see a couple more for two. So the Fosh we already talked about. Um, we have the new Turles that's here, and we have the Raditz and the uh, Turles. Not the Turles. Wow, I just called Barak Turles. Someone just should shoot me. <laughs> four key, four key, and four key, I believe. What are those? Big bad bosses? So two key and big bad bosses. Personally, probably run with him with, with run him with a turtle. It's because of that. Uh, that at least he gets an attack buff. Uh, overall, that's everything. Um, I really like the units that their Doken Awaken forms. Um, I think that the Piccolo is really good uh, for damage reduction if you're running a damage reduction team. Uh, I think this Goku is probably a really solid unit for any team that he links very well with. 
uh, just because attacking defense plus 80% up is really useful. Unfortunately, that supreme damage does kill him because everyone runs it running immense damage now, and you definitely want that. He's probably not going to break like 500,000 on like a, on a, 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 a like a 120 team for that, for instance. Uh, so on a Gotenks team, he probably won't even break 500,000, uh, and because his categories are just low class warrior and world tournament, you're probably never going to run him, honestly. Um, but who knows? I mean, let me know in the comments below how he runs if you happen to have a 120 led team. Um, get him up to Super Tech 10, definitely. Uh, and then in terms of the most viable, the one I think you're going to use the most is definitely going to be this Gohan, just because he's a support unit and everyone needs and runs support units in team. It makes no sense not to run him. And plus, I mean, as long as you meet the criteria here, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% is very hard to come by, actually. So um, usually it's just attack plus 30%. Um, or you do the only. I think the only thing that are better than that is the actual units that are meant to be support that are key plus three attack and defense plus forty percent, um, or that kid Boo who doesn't give key but he gives like attack and defense plus fifty percent, which is phenomenal. Um, but anyway, um, overall, if I had, if I had to rank them, this Gohan would definitely be the number one most useful in my opinion. Um, and then it's really a toss up between who you want to run on a team. Neither neither of the Goku or the Piccolo are going to be primary members of any major teams. Um, so if you're running a damage reduction team, then you're definitely going to want to run with Piccolo, which isn't really that viable. No one really runs damage reduction, at least from what I see. Um, but I know there's a couple people on Reddit who talk about it, so I can't knock it because I, I don't do it myself. I just know the reason why people don't do it is because the battles take forever, uh, but you could definitely do it. Uh, and so I would have to say this Goku just beats him more viability in terms of how quick you can beat an event. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it. I hope that was informative and useful for you. Um, it took me a little bit of time. I will be doing the other ones. I didn't realize that they were already, that the other units over here were already on um, a Dokkan Battle Builder. I just jumped on today because I wanted to do the video. So I will be doing the Turlis um, and his Dokkan Wake, his Grade A Turlis, the regular Turlis, and the Goku at some point. Uh, I'm going to try and do that tomorrow morning before I go to work. Uh, maybe I'll do it tonight if I have some extra time. I'm about to go out because it's still really nice out. I want to enjoy the, the nice weather while I can. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.